As the world's population continues to grow at an alarming rate, it's becoming increasingly clear that there are not enough people to sustain our current way of life. This is a problem that has been on the mind of tech giant Elon Musk for quite some time, and he's been vocal about his concerns over the dangerous effects of automation and the unemployment problem that it's causing. There will be fewer and fewer jobs that a robot cannot do better. But as he explains, there's an even bigger problem that we need to fix fast, or soon it will be too late. The problem that Musk is referring to is the fact that the Earth is far more underpopulated than most people realize. Statistics have shown that the global fertility rate has fallen by half in countries that produce 85% of the world's gross domestic product. Both rates have fallen below the replacement rate according to all statistics. This means that giant and famous cities will soon disappear as older generations retire and the population will start to decline unless immigration rises in the US, Germany, Japan, Italy and several other sizable countries. The potential effects of a falling population can be very harmful for other reasons. Population loss might result in a workforce shortage and therefore slower economic growth. Contrary to common assumption, population growth rates and economic growth rates are closely related, which makes it more crucial to consider one obvious potential influence on the economy. Furthermore, Musk's concern over population collapse brings to light the intricate and linked elements affecting population patents. While a population declines, potential effects must be taken into account. It's equally crucial to take a nuanced approach to the problem and think about any potential effects on society and the environment. One of the most pressing examples of this population decline is Japan. Musk has revealed startling details about why the situation in Japan is getting worse than ever and might eventually cease to exist. Over the last few months, Musk has been taking this topic of contention into public discourse, highlighting the monumentous demographic shifts that could even prove more fatal than the threats of climate change itself. Musk has repeatedly emphasized that unless something changes to cause the birth rate to exceed the death rate, Japan will eventually cease to exist. The fertility rate in Japan is just 1.4%, a dramatic low. Since the 1960s, the world's fertility rate has fallen by half, and birth rates have dropped below the replacement rate in nations that account for 85% of the global GDP, including the United States, South Korea, Germany, Italy, Japan, China, and India. This trend is characterized by a decline in fertility rates and an aging population in developed countries. Women have fewer children and people live longer due to advances in healthcare technology and public resources. This has led to a slower rate of population growth and, in some cases, a decline in the overall population. The most recent and pertinent example is China, which is bearing the consequences of its infamous one-child policy that was introduced in the 1980s to combat predictions of an exponential population rise. As the world's population continues to decline, the effects on the workforce and economy will become increasingly apparent. Labor shortages will become more severe, leading to slower economic growth and potentially even stagnation. Additionally, the burden on social welfare systems will become greater as the number of elderly people needing support increases while the number of working age people decreases. Furthermore, the pressure on the environment will also become more intense as fewer people are able to support the needs of a growing population. This is particularly concerning in light of the current climate crisis, as a declining population could exacerbate the problem of overconsumption and environmental degradation. It's worth noting that while some of the issues mentioned by Musk are certainly valid, it's also worth to keep a nuanced perspective on population decline. For example, a declining population could also help to alleviate some of the environmental problems caused by overpopulation. Ultimately, it's essential that we take these complex issues seriously and begin to have a global conversation about the potential consequences of population decline and how to address it. As Musk highlighted, it's important to think critically and consider the interconnectedness of population trends and the potential impacts on society, the economy, and the environment. So, as we can see, the problem of population decline is a complex and multifaceted issue that requires a nuanced approach. The potential consequences of a declining population are far-reaching and include economic, social, and environmental impacts. 
It's important to consider the potential effects on society and the environment, as well as the potential impacts on future generations. Elon Musk's warning about population collapse highlights the need for a global discourse on this issue. It is crucial that we as a society start to take this problem seriously and work towards finding solutions. Some possible solutions include increasing access to education and job opportunities for women, addressing economic factors that discourage people from having children, and addressing environmental factors that negatively impact fertility and reproductive health. As the world watches the trial involving Elon Musk and the infamous tweet that cost investors millions of dollars, it's important to remember the bigger picture. Musk has been vocal about the dangers of population decline and the catastrophic effects it could have on the future of mankind. With the global fertility rate having fallen by half and birth rates below replacement level in countries that make up 85% of the world's GDP, the issue is more pressing than ever. The consequences of a declining population, including labor shortages and slower economic growth, could be devastating if not addressed. It's time for a global discourse on this issue and for society to take a nuanced approach to finding a solution. The future of humanity may depend on it. The world's population is expected to reach 9.7 billion by 2050 and 11.2 billion by 2100. It's time to act now before it's too late.